This symposium was specifically dedicated to a, a relatively new issue that is called the Treatment Free Remission, or TFR. And why that? Following the introduction of tyrosine kinase inhibitors, uh, the rate of progression from chronic to blast phase has become very, very small, very low. And survival is excellent. Survival of patients with chronic malone leukemia is very close to a normal life expectancy. So it is very difficult to design studies to improve the outcome of the treatment of chronic malone leukemia. And also now we have realized that because of the great success of the anti-leukemic treatment, many patients, they do not die of leukemia, they die of other disease. So what is really important today and what will be very, very important in the next five years is not so much as the number of patients alive, because this is already excellent and we cannot improve, but the number of patients who can stay alive without treatment, which is called treatment-free remission, which is very important for the patients, because the patients will be, so, let me say, free of leukemia, and that's also psychologically important, and the patients will be free of treatment, and treatment has side effects. And also for the society, uh, treatment uh, is very expensive. It will become less expensive in the next few years, but it is very expensive. And uh, these patients today must be treated uh, lifelong. So it costs a lot of money, it is not right for the patient. So the goal for the next studies of chronic malaria leukemia is the percentage of patients who can achieve a treatment-free remission. And this symposium was dedicated to this issue, to answer the question, what is the best treatment? in the next, uh, say, five years to achieve uh, more treatment-free remission. And the focus was, of course, today on second-generation TKI, nilotinib and also dazatinib, because we expect, and this was the results of the studies were examined, were reported, were discussed, were criticized, because we expect that with this second-generation TKI, we can bring more patients to treatment-free remission, but yet we do not know exactly. And also sometimes was dedicated to new TKIs. And there are some examples. And one of these examples was uh, discussed during the symposium. Uh, there is a new TKI that is called the uh, ABLE001, which is a TKI we call of fourth generation because it is different. The mechanism of action is different from that of other TKI. And from preliminary data, also preliminary clinical data, it seems that the combination of this new TKI, which is not still available and will not be available until two or three years from now, but the combination of this new TKI with nilotinib can bring more patients in treatment free remission and more rapidly, which is important because today to bring patients in treatment free remission with imatinib, it takes say, from five to 10 years with second generation TKI, based on the data that, was present, that were presented, we expect, but we do not know as yet, this has yet to be confirmed, that uh, it will not be necessary to treat the patients uh, so long. And for these new combinations, maybe we could uh, get free of leukemia in uh, maybe one year or months, nobody knows, that's maybe a dream. But this is to, to, to bring to conclusion, uh, every presentation, was focused on the issue of treatment-free remission because this is and will be the most important goal in the management of chronic malaria leukemia during the next few years.